Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Saturday, July 17th. Today's Gospel passage comes to us from the 12th chapter of St. Matthew's Gospel. It reads, The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him and he cured them all, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory. And in his name the Gentiles will have hope. This quotation from the prophet Isaiah is powerful. And what always strikes me about this quotation is the words that we hear at the end of it. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench. And as we heard in the gospel passage, Jesus cured all those who followed him into his isolation. So these images point to what Jesus did. He cured, he healed, he made people whole. And in our relationship with him as well, we can experience the same realities. Yes, we don't want to be bruised by our sinfulness, and we don't want our faith to be smoldering or weak. But again, Jesus meets us in these realities, and he helps us to address them in such a way that we can be restored back to strength and to full health. So we can have hope, brothers and sisters. Yes, our lives can be difficult and hard, and we are certainly not perfect, but our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can change our lives to reflect a very different reality if we allow him to be a part of our lives. And Christ is always ready and willing, but the emphasis is on us. Will we open our hearts to or open our hearts and minds to him and allow him to heal us and to be with us? And with the example of the Pharisees at the beginning of the gospel passage, we do have an important warning in relationship to our discussion. They rejected him because he did not meet their expectations of what they thought the Messiah should be for the people of Israel. And this reality pushed them away from Christ. In fact, we heard they sought out to kill him. So if they would have been more like the people who followed Christ, the disciples that were there with him, their openness to Christ could have done amazing things for them. They could have received blessing upon blessing. But again, they could not let go of what they believed that the Messiah should be for their lives and also for their belief. So we don't want to be like the Pharisees at any time in our life where we have rigid thoughts about who Jesus Christ should be in our lives. Yes, difficulties and challenges will happen. But if we continue to have faith and trust in our Lord, we will experience goodness and peace. And we'll come to experience more and more blessings in our lives. And again, to remember what I said earlier, we don't have to be perfect. We are all in a state of journeying towards being better disciples of Jesus Christ. So we just have to, again, have an open heart and mind so that we can truly experience the deep and abiding trust that allow us to be those disciples who receive deeply from our Lord. And furthermore, many of us do need this healing. Many of us need the Lord Jesus Christ to meet us in parts of our lives. So again, hearts and minds open to Christ will always allow him to meet us so that we can be healed, strengthened, and given blessing upon blessing. And finally, I should add one more point. Jesus wants to help us today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year. This is the acceptable time, for we are bruised, 
and maybe we are smoldering, but Christ wants to help us. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.